YouTube, what's going on? Roger here with QVO Tactical. In today's video, we are shooting a gun that just might take over as being my favorite handgun to shoot. Uh, we previously reviewed their Commander Length Ares model, but now we have the Cadillac of their handgun lineup. Of course, I'm talking about the Atlas Gunworks Erebus. I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, you all know our friends over at Ultimate Ammunition locally here in Las Vegas. The owner David informed me that he purchased an Atlas Erebus a few months back and told me that I could borrow it to film a video if I wanted to. Of course, I jumped on this opportunity as I really enjoyed shooting the Atlas Ares and I have been searching for a pistol to outdo my Staccato XC. This gun was loaned to us to make this video and we'll be going back to Ultimate Ammunition once we are finished with this review. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the specs of this awesome offering from Atlas Gunworks. The Atlas Gunworks Erebus is a double stacked 9mm hammer fired semi automatic handgun designed with three gun competition in mind. It is lightweight, optic ready, and compensated right out of the box. It features their full metal alpha grip, which is modular so it can be configured to the shooter's hand. It has a 4.6 inch bull barrel with a very generous compensator at the end. The gun has a very crisp sub two pound trigger, ambidextrous safeties, and features a nice dust cover accessory rail for weapon lights like this Surefire X300. Now for the holster guys, we're using our very own QVO Tactical Secondary OWB holster. This specific one is for the 2011 5 inch model with the thread barrel option so it covers that compensator. You'll notice the holster has multiple points of adjustable retention and this one is featured in our new Hawaiian floral fabric overlay. You notice here on the back, you can attach the Safariland QLS fork. That way it works on your QLS receiver, on your range belt or your battle belt. All right, with the specs out of the way, guys, let's get into the range footage. Um, as always, we start off by recording our first rounds through the gun. All right, guys, range day is here. A little windy, but we're still out here doing it. Um, Atlas Erebus, guys, a gun that I've been wanting to shoot for a while. Um, you guys all know that my uh, Staccato XC, the one that I uh, purchased from Rainier Arms uh, a, a while back, that one with the metal Chili grip uh, is probably my favorite setup to shoot. Uh, my friends have all been telling me that uh, this may change my mind. So today on the range, we're going to find out. Uh, I'm going to shoot 10 rounds. Our first initial rounds, get them through the gun, see what I think. Have uh, Gil and Jade. We got Jade out on the range with us today as well. She had a day off, so she came out with us. Uh, we'll get their opinions on it as well. But some uh, Blazer 124s. I'll shoot 10 rounds, 10 yards out, and we'll see how it does. Here we go. Oh, dang. Oh, man. Okay, um, so. The other Atlas gun that I shot, sorry about the wind guys, uh, the Ares, when that Ares ported gun, how it returned to zero, this does the same thing. I mean, it goes right back. Uh, in addition to that, it's a very soft shooting, very flat shooting gun uh, with the 124s. I'm really curious now about the 147s that we're gonna shoot a little later in the range footage. Uh, we'll go up here. You guys saw I shot two and then just boom, boom, boom. Coming down here, I mean, we got one, two, one, two, three, four. So one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven rounds through, guys, and four of which are touching. Maybe three here. Might have been ten, but um, that's the whole thing. If you guys don't remember in my first video, what Atlas is able to do, they make it to where your second round fired is right on top of the other one. Uh, you know, case in point with the two rounds here, the three or four rounds here. Um, we haven't zeroed the optic yet. Our buddy, uh, this is David's gun, so we told him to get it zeroed for him. I mounted the SRO on it uh, today. So, but uh, yeah, like I'm pumped. Just the first 10 rounds, that thing, whoo! I'm gonna have Gil shoot next and then Jade and see what they think. All right, we got Gil up now. Uh, bro, you saw my reaction, so uh, I think you're gonna like this one. Give it a world 10 round mag, go for it. corrupted me with all these 2011s, man, especially now the Atlas. Whoa. That was, I, I have no words right now. That's how cool it was. All right, guys, look who it is. What's going on, Jade? Not much. Just out here having fun. Where you been? Uh, work. <laughs> All right, well, we all know that one of your favorite guns was actually the Nighthawk, the TRS Comp, and then the XC. So I think we have a contender for what might be your new favorite. Go for it. Oh, 
Yeah, that felt great. Um, super smooth. I think you're right. I think it's a contender. So you haven't shot in a month. How did it feel shooting that? Uh, first shot, so my grip was a little loose. So I, I noticed that immediately, so I tightened it. But as soon as I tightened it, I was like, oh yeah, smooth like butter. As always, guys, we wanted to get this optic zeroed. We got the Trigicon SRO here on top of it, and I will say uh, this is probably one of the easiest guns I've ever zeroed. You're gonna see here with how close these groups were in the footage. All right, guys, so the first grouping here at 10 yards, it's five or six rounds, all touching. Um, yeah. Like I said in my Aries video, man, uh, Atlas guns, they are expensive, but they are worth every penny. Uh, we'll make our adjustments from here, and then it's gonna, we're gonna have no problem getting this thing like very, very precisely and confidently zeroed. Six rounds, all touching here. These groupings are insane. Uh, I'm gonna even adjust off of that. We're gonna go dead center here. So uh, it's like, I'm probably just gonna go maybe two clicks right, one click down. Yeah, man. Of course, I wanted to run our favorite drill next, the build drill. All right, guys, seven yards out, paper targets. Uh, build drills for time with the Atlas Erebus. Here we go, stand by. It's a 182. Man, we got 13 split, 14, 15, 15, 15. Let's go check hits. So one, two, three, Alpha, one, two, three, Charlie. So we're gonna clean that up and hopefully uh, get, get a little uh, shorter on the time there. One seventy six. So five Alpha, one Charlie for a one seventy six. We'll go again. So 167, first shot was a 9.5. Splits are uh, 9.5, let's see, 1.6, 13, 15, 13, 15. And all alpha, one, two, three, four, five, six. So all alpha clean for a total time of 167. One sixty eight and one Charlie. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I like the one sixty seven better. <laughs> one sixty two. I went high on that guy. So two Charlie, one Alpha, three Bravo. 159, first shot was a point nine. Ah, oh, almost all clean. Those are, those are not line breakers. Those are right at the uh, perforation. So one, two, three, four, four alpha, and two almost, but still Charlie, but a 159. All right, Jade, build drills for time. Go for it. Stand by. What was it? 261. 261. Let's go look at the hits. Three Alpha, three Charlie. Nice. Let's go again. Uh, 294. 294? Yeah. Sam Sam, three Charlie, three Alpha. Seven. 227. That's your fastest so far. We got five alpha and what's this? Delta? Yep. Nice, good stuff though. Two twenty-three. Two twenty-three. 
got five Alpha, one Charlie. All right, build drills in the wind, Gil. What do we got for time? 241. 241s. Go look at the hits. It's got five Alpha and one Charlie, and then I don't know where that Delta's from. All right, Gil, build drills in the wind. Go for it, bud. What do we got for time? Two, two, one. Two, two, one. And it looks like we got one, two, three, four. Oh, nice. So what, four Alpha, two Charlie? Ah, four Alpha, one Charlie, one Delta. Time. 209. 209. Oh, yeah. Five alpha. Now something I want to note here, um, I think that my best time on the range when we were shooting paper was like a 1.67 clean all alphas. Um, we also ran build drills on steel, but that was just for the opening montage footage you saw during the intro of this video. When I was shooting the steel, I really got the trigger going and I found my groove. Um, I even got some like 13, some 12s and uh, an 11 and even a 10 split time during the different cadences of fire on the steel. Um, this gun was moving. Now, another thing I like to do here on the channel is to shoot different grains of 9mm ammunition, especially when shooting compensated guns. Um, as I typically notice and feel a difference in felt recoil and how I can track the red dot with different grains of 9mm. So while we're out on the range, I decided to load up the magazine with 115 grain, uh, 124 grain, and 147 grain 9mm ammunition. Um, I then had all three of us shoot these magazines uh, and give our immediate thoughts. All right, guys, so when we shoot ported or compensated guns, I like to shoot different grains of 9mm ammunition uh, to see the difference in felt recoil. So this mag is loaded up with four rounds of 115, four rounds of 124, and then four rounds of 147. Uh, all three of us are going to shoot the uh, Atlas Erebus here with the different grains and see if we uh, notice any differences in how it recoils or how the uh, how we can uh, track the dot. So here we go. First four shots, 115s. Okay, feels normal. I was shooting kind of similar to the 124s we've been shooting. 124s now. Okay, so the 124 side by side with the 115s. Uh, the felt recoil is a little softer. And now my favorite uh, my favorite grain to shoot with uh, the large uh, compensated or large ported guns is the 147s. Here we go. Yeah, 147s literally feel like you're shooting a 22 plus B. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have them try it out and get their opinions on it. But uh, the 147s, in my opinion, are the way to go with the uh, Atlas Aramis. All right, Gil, same drill. Four rounds of each, 115 first, go for it. You gotta speak up, bud, it's super windy. Those felt soft for the 115s, I'm gonna try that out. 124s versus the 115. Felt a little softer. Okay. Big too much for the first, let's try the 147s. Oh yeah, that was a little way softer. Way softer. 147s? Oh yeah. All right, go for it, Jade. Same thing. First up's the uh, 115s.
earlier, I mentioned how this gun could be the one that I shoot better than my Staccato XC. Um, to test this theory out, I did bring out my custom Staccato XC that I purchased from Rainier Arms a couple years back. Uh, my XC has a full metal grip uh, from Chile Gunworks with their Magwell as well. All right guys, so while we're out here, I wanted to uh, shoot my XC side by side with the Alice Erebus. You guys are always asking me, hey, out of all the 2011s and double stack 1911s you have, which is your favorite? Uh, for me, out of my collection, it has been the Staccato XC, uh, the one that I purchased from Rainier Arms a few years back. Definitely check out that video. Um, but I switched out the grips to the metal Chili grips with the multi-cam black Cerakote from Justin over at Extreme Shooters uh, and, the, and the Chili Magwell. So with this setup, uh, I have found it to be the gun that I can run the fastest and the smoothest, and it's just been the most fun for me to shoot. Uh, a lot of my friends were like, hey man, shoot the Atlas Erebus, uh, and you might have a change of heart. So I want to shoot some 147s, shoot these guns side by side, uh, and see what my initial thoughts are when I do this. So here we go. Staccato XC Federal 147. Super flat, easy to track the dot, uh, just like it's always been. Now I'm gonna shoot five rounds through the Atlas Gunworks Erebus. Whoo! Okay. So I will say this, uh, as far as like how soft they are, uh, pretty comparable. Uh, they both have very large um, ports on the end, very large like uh, compensators on the end. Um, but I will say the Atlas Erebus, I was able to track the dot uh, quicker and it returned to zero quicker. Um, if you guys, I'll, I'm gonna try to do it here in our video as well, but in the Ares video, I showed how when you're, when you're shooting two rounds quickly, you know, controlled pairs or double taps, whatever you wanna call them, um, the way they've engineered their guns, the, the recoil and, and how the muzzle rise is um, mitigated, it just sends the next round right on top of the other. And that is what their goal is when I, when I spoke with uh, the Atlas team. But um, I will say this, you're talking about a gun here that's also, I think they're $4,400 and then it's another 600 for the uh, Chili Grip, another 100 for the Magwell. So seven, you're talking a $5,100 gun versus I wanna say this is around 7K. So uh, I would definitely expect for an additional $2,000 that you would notice um, a little bit of better performance. But for me, uh, I will say that as far as recoil, it's very hard to tell the difference, but I did notice that uh, this does return to zero quicker. I'm gonna have uh, Gil and Jade shoot the same thing and, and have them give their thoughts. All right, Jade, same thing. Shooting the uh, Staccato XC with the Chili Metal Grip and the Alice Arabis side by side. Give us your thoughts, 147 nine mil. At the end. Okay. So, I think for me, the staccato shot a little flatter for me. It might be because just of the, the extra weight to it. Um, otherwise, they feel really comparable, but I did notice a little more. I guess flatness with the staccato for me. All right, Gil, same thing, bud. Shoot them side by side, the XC and the, uh, the Erebus. Yeah, XC always feels smooth when I first shot it from you. All right, let's try the Erebus. Speak loud, but it's windy. I mean, I don't know, to me, they, they feel very similar to me. I can't really, I mean, pinpoint a difference if I'm being completely honest. To me, they feel exactly the same. I also wanted to see what recoil looked like between the Atlas Erebus and the Staccato XC in super slow motion. To do this, I recorded each gun shooting three different grains of nine millimeter ammunition while filming at 1,000 frames per second.
So it seems that we all had a difference of opinion. Um, I thought the Erebus shot a little better than my Staccato XC, while Jade thought the XC shot better than the Erebus, and Gil thought they shot exactly the same. Now let's get into this a little bit. Um, I wanna say that my fastest build drill when we were shooting steel with the Atlas Erebus was like a 154. I think my fastest build drill with the XC was very similar or very close when we filmed it up against the uh, Nighthawk TRS comp a while back. Um, I will say that I did find the ergonomics of the Atlas Alpha grip to be better than my Metal Chili grip on my Staccato XC. Um, I feel like the Atlas does not have like that full European style tang to their grip, but more of like an in-between, which I found myself really liking on the range. Um, I know some of you might think this sounds crazy however i do wish the atlas erebus did come with backup iron sights i'm one of those weirdos who likes redundancies um, one of the things i prefer about the xc is that it does have backup iron sights even with that large compensator now, aesthetically speaking, guys, I really dig the Erebus. Um, the angled fang cut on the front of the compensator just past the dust cover is a really cool look in my opinion. I also like the two-tone color differentiation with the slide frame grip and components of the gun. Now, when it comes to comparing them in regards to price, the Erebus is gonna be a little more expensive. Um, when I purchased my Staccato XC, it was about $4,400. It was then another $700 to add the full metal grip and the magwell. So my XC in its current configuration without the optic and without the weapon light will cost you around $5,100. The Atlas Gunworks Erebus configured will cost you $6,800 without the optic or weapon light. So you have a price difference of about $1,700. I already know some of you are in the comment section asking, well, is it worth the extra $1,700 to get the Erebus? When I filmed that previous Atlas video on the Ares model, I remember talking to Mark uh, with Atlas and asking why their guns were on the higher end. Um, he gave me an explanation that I'd never heard before. He explained to me that the goal that Atlas Gunworks um, for them when they were designing and engineering their firearms is so that when you fire your first shot and then follow it up with your second, the gun would return back to zero, placing your next round right on top of the first. So like we did in our previous video, I did the same thing here in this one. I shot several groups of controlled pairs to see how this gun returned to zero, and it definitely did not disappoint. So is it worth that additional $1,700? Well, that's gonna be up to you to decide. I will say this though, I don't have any plans on getting rid of my Staccato XC. However, in the near future, I definitely wanna add this gun, the Erebus, or the Atlas Ares to my collection. If you are in the market for a higher end 2011 or a double stack 1911, it is definitely worth it to take a look at Atlas Gunworks. With how easy it is to shoot follow up shots because their guns have this like automatic return to zero magic and also how easy it is to track your red dot as it cycles with your slide, you're gonna find yourself quickly going through 500 to 600 rounds in a very short period of time, just like we did here in this range video. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. A uh, big shout out again to David of Ultimate Ammunition for letting us borrow this gun for the video. We appreciate it. Guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos uh, every week here on the channel. We also upload our content to Rumble, so check us out there as well. Thank you as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.